I'm debating on if I want to grow back the tail that I had a couple of months ago or if I want to taper down the back of my hair. I'm undecided. I am tired of burning my hair with the iron that I'm using. So I'm into this curling process. So of course, I'm always using a heat protector to protect my hair from the heat using a cream moisturizer and my pixie polish and a little bit of wax sounds like a lot of product but if you see how i take the time to allow the product to break down in my hands before adding it to my hair this way i'm able to evenly distribute the product throughout my whole head without plopping too much product in one area and also giving my hair the protection that it needs from me running these hot irons through my head so i don't rush this process i break down the product in my hands and i make sure that i thoroughly run the product through my hair before i go any further i'm actually adding a little bit more of the pixie polish because i like shine on my hair and i don't want to be spraying shine throughout my hair while i'm curling so product is important your comb is going to be a um, vital part of combing, curling your hair because you want to make sure that the space between the teeth of your comb give you decent control of the hair, is able to straighten the hair out, make sure that you aren't curling through any snags or kinks or curls. Um, and the tail of a carbon comb, and carbon combs are bomb because they can withstand heat. They don't heat up like the metal tip rat tail combs. If you've ever been having your hair curl or pressed and someone is using a metal rat tail comb, that boy will burn your ear, burn your scalp. Carbon combs do not collect heat in the same way. So I've had it resting on my iron before. I've had it very close to my stove. I use Marcel irons when I'm curling uh, in salon. So carbon combs are bomb because they can withstand the heat. But I'm just going in and the mold is such a foundational part of curling your hair. If you haven't seen any of my molding videos, I will connect them in the comments below and I'll try to connect the card up here just to give you guys the opportunity to uh, work on perfecting your mold also. But I'm going in with a small iron. I'm gonna give you guys a list of all of the products and tools that I use um, at the end of the video so make sure you stick around I'm going to the top part of my mold where the hair comes forward and I am taking small sections and I'm really just creating a tight curl around the iron making sure that each curl lays on top of the other one and basically I'm just kind of zooming through it the product that I have on my hair coupled with the heat setting that I have on my iron, coupled with my haircut makes it, um, you know, a simpler process. So those are some things that you want to keep in mind when you want the ease of being able to style your hair at home, making sure that you keep uh, good maintenance on your haircut, that you have high quality styling products, and that you're mindful of how much heat your hair actually needs to be curled. So this is a different view, just giving you guys the opportunity to see how I'm layering the curls one on top of another. Curling your hair can be simple. You do, of course, like I said, need the right products, the right tools, and you have to take your time. So big, chunky, enormous sections um, is not the best way to go if you want detail. If your hair is fine like mine, you see in the crown, my hair is a lot finer, um, thinner almost than the rest of my hair. So in those sections, I am careful to take very small sections so that I am um, careful to make sure that I am treating the hair properly, that I'm not using 
more heat than I need to, but also that I'm creating detail in an area where the hair is thin. So my goal with this was to show you guys how to curl the back of your hair. What I did was put a standing mirror behind me. Of course, I'm sitting in front of a mirror in front of me. So I'm using two mirrors. My vision is blurry at best. So I am also using a hand mirror that's in my lap. So if I can't clearly see what's going on, then I'll throw that hand mirror up to be able to see clearly the mirror in the back. But I'm basically just layering the curls one on top of the other, going down and bumping the hair uh, in a smooth direction as far down as I can go before I start burning myself. If you ever wondered how to get your back just as fly as your front, this is the key. One mirror behind you, one mirror in front of you, and if your vision is still a little off, sis, do not hesitate to get that hand mirror so that you can clearly see what's going on behind you. It is incredibly helpful. Working my way on around this head and now making it to the sides. I've basically gotten um, majority of the back done, coming around the corner. My sides, I often in the summer months cut super short, almost like faded or do, you know, some parts or something because the sides of my hair are the thicker parts of my hair. So I find myself needing to relax them very often in order to not have to even be bothered with that. A lot of times I fade my sides down real, real short. So you'll see that that hair is a lot thinner. So I'm taking super small sections because if not, I'll be burning the heck out of my scalp. I'm really not trying to do the whole pin curl effect on this area. I'm just making sure that I am silking through and sending the hair in the direction that I want it to go in on the side. All right, y'all, I am about finished. That's about it. I'm rubbing on the back of my head because I'm debating on if I want to grow back the tail that I had a couple of months ago or if I want to taper down the back of my hair. I'm undecided. I am tired of burning my hair with the iron that I'm using. So I don't know. I think that I'll probably have my husband taper that part because it's just easier for me to get up and go. I am back heavy in the gym. We ain't even gonna go there right now. So it's a lot easier just to have my size and back at a length that is, I can put on a, a wrap while I'm working out, take it off. And if I need to mousse it or foam it down with my pixie-ish molding mousse, I can do that. If not, I can brush and go. So that's kind of the direction that I'm leaning in. But for style, this is pretty much what I'm going with. This is crazy. I sat here and curled my whole head to shoot some content that is going to require me to put something on my head but it's the little effects the little peak abu parts of my hair being curled that will stick out as i shoot this content that i was concerned with um, for those of you guys and i shared this in a previous video but i want to make sure that i share it again for those of you guys who have thinner hair specifically in the crown or in your temple areas a way that i remedy not being able to see my scalp in some of the areas like as i turn my head in some of the areas where my hair is finer you'll be able to see a bit of spacing um, sometimes i can go in and just kind of comb my hair uh, around in those areas to avoid being able to see my scalp but if specifically in the crown I just dropped a whole lot of stuff on the floor I didn't want to make y'all sit through that 
for those of you guys who have spacing fine areas and you're looking for a way to cover it I use this this is hair fibers these are actually a brown hair fiber so I'm not gonna spray these because I did recently just color my hair um, black I'm gonna go downstairs and get some black hair fibers but this apparatus with these hair fibers allows you to use this little thing and pump this fiber into areas where your hair is sparse or thin to give the appearance of density it does not come out all over your pillows it is the bomb so for areas like my crown area where i'm a little thinner or any area where I may see excessive spacing that I don't want to show on the pictures. I go in with my trusty hair fibers and fill in those spots. I will put the details to the hair fibers and the um, applicator in the comments in the description section. Now for the products that I used. Again, I started off with my carbon comb. No, actually I started out with freshly shampooed and molded hair. Of course, I used my own molding mousse, my pixie-ish molding mousse. Can y'all see that? Pixie-ish molding mousse. Um, I mold and set my hair with that. Of course, I use wrap strips. After that, I went in with a light moisturizer um, hair oil. I used our pixie polish. I'll insert a picture over here uh, to add some um, sheen heat protectant to my hair. I also use the Influence Curl Wax. I'll insert um links to all of these products i use the curl wax almost throughout my hair because again it serves as a heat protectant and it really helps to hold my hair if you all saw i created this entire style i do not use holding spray whatsoever i like soft workable hair in the event that you get your hair curled you sleep on it it gets wet some freak accident happens you want to be able to rebound and not be curling through crunchy hair it causes breakage it, it's a mess so I am team very minimal holding spray in the event that I do use a holding spray it is something that is a light workable hold but for styles like this personally on my hair I don't use holding spray and what allows me the flexibility and the longevity of my style is the curling wax so if you guys are interested in any of the products I will link them in the description below some of them will link to my website and some of them will link you to my Amazon page resources they're there oh the iron people ask about irons all the time I have a video here I'll put a card there that shows you my favorite irons for short hair the iron that I used in this uh, video is the H2 Pro 3 tenths inch iron the iron is about $145 it is it's a pretty good iron for super short hair I will say that there are irons that you can do about the same thing that you can do with this one in regards to the size of it that are as pricey so if you guys have uh, questions about irons and you want to see a vast array of irons then definitely click the description bar on the bottom for my uh, top irons for styling short hair so that is about all I am about to get myself dressed and ready for the day thank you guys for checking out this video if you're not already following me on Instagram make sure that you follow me make sure that you hit the subscription button on this video so you don't miss any more of my content and check out the description bar for all of the products used today i would also like to hear from y'all what y'all doing with your hair how is your short hair life what is life looking like for you at this point in time in the world drop it in the description below i love chit chatting with you guys until next time bye